Overseas, Russia's first royal wedding since the country's last czar was executed over a century ago is invoking memories good and bad. It happened this week in St. Petersburg. CBS's MTS Tayeb has the story. Regal, opulent, and yes, ostentatious. But that perhaps was the point for Russia's first royal wedding in 127 years, although the crowns never quite touched the heads of the self-styled Grand Duke, George Mikhailovich Romanov, who was raised in France, and his Italian fiancée, Rebecca Virginia Bettarini, the ceremony at St. Isaac's Cathedral in the city of St. Petersburg, where they exchanged Fabergé rings, was poignant for the couple. They chose to wed in the former imperial capital because it was the first place in Russia where the family had returned following the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991. St. Petersburg is also where the Romanov family's darkest chapter began to unravel. Their centuries-long rule over Russia came to a bloody end there after the Bolshevik revolutions in 1917. Tsar Nicholas II, his wife, and their five children were later brutally executed, ushering in the communist era. But this lavish wedding, attended by roughly 1,500 people, was a resolutely happy affair. With a guest list so glittering, it included queens, princes, and billionaires, but not Vladimir Putin. A spokesman for the Russian president said, this marriage does not belong on our agenda in any way. But the Romanov's legacy continues to divide Russians, including over whether unions like this should still be celebrated. Imtiaz Tayeb, CBS News, London.